So we are repeatedly and frequently asked by general public that anxiety is a normal human emotion, then why do we need to treat it? So we need to distinguish between a normal human emotion and a disorder. When we are in a situation which frightens us, which makes us tense, it is normal. But when if the symptom lasts beyond a reasonable amount of time and depth and it interferes with our functioning in all spheres of our life, then it becomes a disorder. And that is where the, the medical help or medical intervention is required. I am Dr. B. Kapoor. I am a consultant in psychiatry and I am with the Manipal Hospital Habal. And today we are going to talk about anxiety neurosis. Anxiety disorder is an unnecessary, undue, excessive worries about a situation or a, or a person or an idea or uh, environments. And this, it goes, when it goes beyond a normal time, a reasonably normal time, and interferes with our, in our, in our day-to-day life, in our occupational life, in our family and our social spheres, the, that's where it is called anxiety neurosis and it needs medical intervention. The, the classical symptoms of anxiety disorders are re restlessness, unable to relax, tenseness in the whole body, tenseness in the muscles and feeling discomfort sometime in the head, sometime in the chest and sleep disturbances and it may be accompanied by sweating in the hands or tremors in the hand and loss of appetite. These are generally the main symptoms of anxiety neurosis. Causative factors in anxiety neurosis are multifactorial and one of them is the, if there is a family history, that means the environment in which the person grows or it may be sometimes partly genetic and then it could be the environmental stresses which are constantly bombarding all of us in various spheres of our life. There could be substance abuse and then there could be health issues like physical health, different type of disorders, illnesses which may cause anxiety to uh, us. There could be medical causes of anxiety also that for example serious medical disorders, certain medications may cause like steroids and uh, certain type of heavy antibiotics and these kind of the uh, medical uh, uh, therapies can also sometimes produce anxiety and medical illnesses itself can also generate anxiety in a normal person. See the diagnosis primarily is on the history taking, examination and evaluation of the patient. So uh, on the history they will tell us whatever has been happening in past or the family pressure, work pressure, others where and the, we, we, we evaluate their contents of their speech, their body language, the other physical symptoms like tremors, sweating in the hand and drumless of the body, loss of sleep, loss of appetite. So th these are the ways uh, diagnosis of uh, anxiety neurosis is generally come to. The treatment uh, again are of different varieties. One is the medical treatment, other is the behavior therapy, cognitive behavior therapy and self-help. So in the mostly in the mild anxiety where the symptoms are not very severe and the functionality is not disturbed that much, then we try to tell patient to do self-help in the sense uh, use relaxation techniques, physical exercises, yoga, pranayam, meditation and uh, if these do not work, then we add on to the medical therapy in which you, you use the anti-anxiety medication and uh, SSRIs, serotonin raising medication and also the next step into goes into psychotherapy, cognitive behavior therapy and behavior modification. Uh, these are the, some of the techniques in which we manage anxiety neurosis.